This is painstakingly delicate work. These scientists have been cultivating, dividing and sequencing fat cells for years. But now they say they've made a breakthrough which could change the way obesity is treated. The dream is to, without changing the lifestyle of kids or adults, so just to give them a pill that it enhance the brown fat and naturally they are protected against obesity. Having more of the so-called brown fat actually makes you skinny. And with obesity at epidemic proportions, everyone wants to find a way to transform the white, bad fat cells we all have into the brown kind, which burn energy all the time. This is called an incubator. This is where the, this is where the cells are cultured. These researchers have got both kinds of fat cells. The good one is this one. And have proven, contrary to what the medical world thought, one can change into the other. So we have white fat cells and we have brown fat cells. Figuring out how to transform one into the other is one thing, but taking that information and turning it into a possible treatment for obesity is quite another. But that's exactly what Dr. Lodfi Shushan has in his sights. He's already figured out how to turn stem cells into brown fat cells. The next step is to inject those into obese rats and hopefully watch them lose weight. Eventually, he says, there will be hope for humans too. We will collect these stem cells from this overweight subject. We culture it in, in the lab, then we will inject these cells into the same subject. Diabetes sufferer and doctor Medhat Ibrahim isn't convinced. The research has showed that if you are uh, obese and pre-diabetic, if you do diet and exercise, at least 70% of, of, of the people do not develop diabetes. A traditional approach, researchers say, will always have its place, but the chance to give a helping hand and a pill shouldn't be ruled out. Kim Vanell, Al Jazeera, Doha.